No, right. You fucking degenerates. <clears throat> we got some adroit theory. All I can see is carry on. And this is a Belgian style quad ale. Dude, look at that fucking label. What the fuck, man? Adroit Theory just goes fucking ballistic with these can art. Um, as as always, they have their uh, their food, cheese, and cigar pairings. You can see this one's uh, twelve percent. And let's see what they say. It says, "You scavenge the earth, grasping at life's sweet indulgences. Never-ending consumption drives your futile existence." A mindless march towards your own demise, wading through a sea of rotting flesh, no living creature unscathed, decade to be, or decadence to be rewarded with the wrath of our own of your own god, the gradual uh, subjugation of your mind, body, and soul. Sounds like it knows wet shavers pretty well, huh? <laughs> if you just switched out some of those words, you know, indulging in soaps, <laughs> decadence. Of gourmand sense. <laughs> if they would have just switched a few words out, man. Holy shit, it would have been spot on for wet shavers. So, Belgian quad. I don't know how many Belgian quads I've shown on cam. I'm going to pour it into this uh, Tiku glass here. Oh, fuck yeah. Belgian quads are usually really good. Really, really good. Oh, just that little sip right there was nice. Definitely got some dark fruit on top. Maybe like, um, maybe like some red grape or like a fig or something like that. Okay. It's got like this dry, sweet, Kind of like, kind of like, um, you know, licorice, like real licorice, not that, you know, fake shit. Um, a little bit of like molasses, uh, not super sweet, not super syrupy, um, but it's like that kind of like syrup sweetness. I like a lot of dark fruit, definitely like. Some fig or something like that. Raisin. Very nice. Very, very nice. <clears throat> Alright, now we're going to go with something else that is very, very nice. And that's Full Measure of a Man. Look at that fucking label. Just a fucking dope-ass label. It's got that popping uh, gold uh, color throughout. And then it has that, um, like, skeleton with a couple of flowers growing through its bones. Really cool shit. Mm. <laughs> this fucking thing, man. This is a fucking banger. <laughs> Knocking fools out. Like when you when this scent fucking walks on one side of the street, you cross the road and walk on the other side of the street. <clears throat> this is the fucking real deal. This is the real fucking deal. If you saw my uh, unboxing that first impression was fucking legit. Holy shit. Uh, it's in the Excelsior Base Tallow. Um, I've used the Excelsior Base many times now. I'll show you the uh, side label before we get into it. So, that little squiggly means Excelsior. I know. Who would not Who would have thought? Got some ingredients right there. The uh, side label is legit. Lanolin, shea butter. I don't know why they throw those out there compared to all the other quality ingredients anyhow top-notch packaging wide mouth low profile jar all the necessary information on the uh packaging that's what we're using today let's get into it i got my lancaster razor work shave bowl a bunch of creamy lather uh whipped up let's see where is it i got my Eldrudia brush, which actually went real well with the uh, label of this one. And it has a turn and shave 
V3 knot on the top, which also has zero gel. And I like this knot quite a bit as well. So, quite a lot of turn and shave being used the last couple days, but I quite enjoy these items. So, I ain't complaining. So, this is Bear Stern Man's first um, tobacco scent. In their words, I feel like tobacco really shares the stage with that mousse de sax in, um, in this fragrance. So it's a, it's a four ounce tub, $18, and the scent notes are cured tobacco, sandalwood, mousse de sax, citrus, um, vanilla, resins, myrrh, and geranium. And to me, I pick up that mousse de sax almost immediately. And it is a just a wonderful barrister man brought back mousse de sax. They resurrected it from a sample that they got and recreated it. And then they've made quite a few scents with mousse, well, mousse de sax at this point. La Vanille Vespers, which is my personal favorite. And then um, now this full measure of a man. And that Moose de Sac scent note, when Barrister and Man does it, is to die for. I mean, it's polarizing. But if you lean on the side of the ones that like it, you love it. And this Moose de Sax is fucking dope, dude. And I feel like it shares the spotlight pretty evenly with that cured tobacco. Now, this is the kind of tobacco that should come to mind when artisans put, um, like, cigars or humidors or, um you know, cured tobacco leaves on the label or packaging. When they have a tobacco scent and they put cigars and um, cured tobacco leaves and humidors on their labels, like 95% of the time, it's a tobacco flower fragrance, which is like fresh and green and, um, you know, it's totally misleading. You know, you put a, a fucking cigar on the label. I'm thinking it's going to smell like cured tobacco. I'm thinking it's going to smell like aged tobacco that is that they use in cigars. Most of the time, that's not the case. All right. We're going to be using the Kukri. Focus on the razor. There we go. We're going to be using the Kukri. Got that elegant spine work. Square point. Osiris Bladeworks Scales, whatever that is. Um, just a beautiful, beautiful piece of work here. And let's get into it. This was my first straight razor. So anyways, artisans, if you're going to fucking put a cigar on your packaging or a humidor or cured tobacco, it fucking should be damn well. <laughs> it should smell reminiscent of cigar tobacco. It makes no sense to put cigars on your packaging and then the fragrance smell like tobacco flower or tobacco, you know, green tobacco. It makes no sense whatsoever. Because that's fresh and green and clean. And cigar tobacco is like earthy, spicy, warm. So it just doesn't make no sense. It's misleading. And I bet you anything, a lot of new um, be newbies to the wet shaving world and the fragrance world. You put fucking cigar on your uh, fragrance or you put cigar on your wet shaving or whatever 
they're thinking it's going to smell reminiscent of cigars. And if they enjoy cigars, <laughs> that's what they're going to be, you know, leaning towards. And that's why they're going to purchase it, only to be met with something completely fucking different. So, not cool. Not cool. Barrister and Man, however, they bring, well, I guess they don't put cigars on their packaging, but they bring um, the Cured Tobacco Scent Note, and I feel like in this case, they do it right. They do it right. It says Cured Tobacco. I'm envisioning, you know, aged tobacco used in cigars. And that's what I get. You know what I mean? No uh, smoke and mirrors. No bullshit. They say what it is, and that's what it is. So I really appreciate that. It's warm. It's um, It's got that little bit of earthiness. It's got a little bit of spiciness. It's got a little bit of sweetness. It's like all these things that they... It's like it's like they took a master blender <laughs> to a, a master, like, cigar, <laughs> cigar blender and had him create a fragrance because it's, it's fucking... It's beautiful. Beautiful. And so I feel like the... Uh, the Moose Sacks and the Tobacco share the spotlight on this one. They're front and center, um, prominent characters. This is like, you know, 6.5 out of 10. It's bold, it's banging, um, and it's complex and unique. Like, this whole time I've been talking, jacking my jaw, all that, all that, I've smelt this thing the whole time. I haven't went nose blind to it at all. At all. Fucking phenomenal. <laughs> Phenomenal. <laughs> I, I'm not fucking around. I'm fucking around, but I'm not fucking around. It's fucking... Th this is what I'm fucking talking about. This is gonna be right there with Vespers. And it kind of sucks. Um, for the rest of the year, all the other artisans who are gonna have to scratch and claw and really rack their brains against the wall <laughs> to try to come up with something better than this. Um, I could see it now, contender for my favorite scent of the year. I can see it now. They are going to have to, the other artisans are going to have to fucking pull out all the stops to beat this. This is right up my alley. I mean, I fucking love Vespers, but this is knocking at the door. This is fucking knocking at the door. <laughs> you know, Vespers is looking the other direction. It has its earphones in, trying to trying to act like <laughs> full measure of a man. Uh, it is just a figment of its imagination, but it's right there. <laughs> Don't turn around, Vespers. <laughs> Don't turn around, because full measure of a man is right fucking there. It's right behind you. <laughs> this is nuts. I love this scent. If you uh, if you can't if you can't tell, I love this scent. Outstanding. One of the, I, one of my favorite scents in, in wet shaving. No fucking doubt about it. This is... I fucking love this, dude. Alright. So. <clears throat> I do feel like, you know... The sandalwood, vanilla, the myrrh... Those all create, like, this warmth that's in the body. Um, I don't pick them out as much. Um, and the resins as well... I don't really get a huge resiny vibe. Um, it's probably because the resin, the resins are like accentuating the uh, mousse de sax, which that's very much a possibility. But it's wonderful, and the geranium, it it's absolutely buried. Like they six feet deep. <laughs> if it's in there, I don't know where the rest of those fucking scent notes buried it. It's probably only in there just cuz <laughs> just to like like entice those people that might not um that might think wow that's way too dark for me they threw in geranium just to see if they can like fucking hook one of those fresh boys <laughs> <coughs> 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 
God damn. <coughs> I'm laughing. Fucking Belgian quads going down the wrong hole. <coughs> That's fucking funny. I think somebody... I think somebody was saying, you know, that they weren't too fond of Excelsior. I can't remember if it was on Instagram or if it was on one of my videos in the comments. <clears throat> Maybe it was somewhere else. I don't know. But I really like Excelsior. I think it's good shit. Obviously, he went with Excelsior over PP8, which is the soft heart soap base. Which a lot of people like the soft heart soap base better. But as is the name, it's a uh, softer soap. And so it's probably not going to give you as much bang for your buck as Excelsior. Because Excelsior is just a little bit firmer than PP8. But <clears throat> no harm, no foul, really. I think they're both top fucking notch. I think they have the same exact ingredients, actually. But it's just different uh, proportions. And that's what sets them apart from each other. Same ingredients, but different uh, values. Different proportions of the same ingredients. And so, really, <clears throat> it's kind of a, you know, apples to oranges type thing. Both fruit. <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that. They're really similar, but they're different. Same, same, but different. <clears throat> but Excelsior definitely has everything you'll need. Elite slickness has a nice density to it. Has that kind of yogurty consistency. I whipped up a good one here today. Whipped up a good one. This has been a fucking nice, nice, nice shave. If they come out, if Will comes out with a fucking EDT for this, I'm all over it. I'm going fucking gangbusters. Because, I mean, I know people who want that Vespers EDT. He hasn't indulged us with that. Been fucking around with other shit. <laughs> with other shit. <clears throat> but. If he comes out. With full measure of man EDT. I'm all over it. And the rest of you. Stay out of my way. <laughs> stay out of my way. Because I'm going to go gangbusters on that shit. Alright. Let me try to. Uh, rinse the face. And we'll get into some post shave here. Damn, that was a good shave. I'm going to kind of redistribute some of this soap. Just because I don't want it to go to waste. It has all those awesome skin food ingredients. I don't go as far as some people, you know, putting it all over my face. But I just give it one last minor distribution before I clean it off. Just because it's really good. I know it's good. I'm always dehydrated. Because <laughs> I don't drink enough water. <clears throat> so, I can use all the help I can get. And some of these soaps have some really good ingredients. So, I like to take advantage of that. <clears throat> I've been trying to rinse off a little better off camera. Um... Just in an attempt to clear up my acne that I get on my neck. I've heard a couple words of advice um, from some people and I got nothing to lose so I'm just taking them up on their advice. <clears throat> Alright, I got the Lancaster. I 
definitely got mine. I told you I would, and I did. And I did it. You know, just like everyone else. I logged on right on drop time. I fucking refreshed the homepage 20 times. And when shit started appearing, <laughs> my heart fucking sank because none of the items were loading. And um, I don't think, I haven't heard of anybody else having this experience but me. But nothing was loading. I was using the Etsy app on my mobile phone, my smartphone, and none of the items were loading. All I could see was the three keychain uh, leather patches that he had uh, pre-drop, that were available pre-drop. That's all I could see. It said, you know, 40 items. View all 40 items. Click on it. All I could see is three items. So I went to uh, Google, Lancaster Razorworks, and I... Uh, I went in there, um, went through Google, did it on the browser, same thing. So I was like, fuck! <laughs> and I could see the number dropping, 35, 30, 25, and I'm like losing my mind. I'm going to finish off with Vespers, the fucking goat. The goat, the greatest of all sins. This is in the Delta space. Anyhow, you're wondering how did I get my Lancaster if I was experiencing these issues? Well... I went to Facebook, Lancaster Razor Works. He had a link to his Etsy store through his Facebook. And thank God, the items that were for sale populated through that link. And I was able to check out through that. Crazy ordeal. I haven't heard of anybody else having that problem except me. But you can't fucking stop me. I got exactly what I wanted, even after <laughs> struggling for about five minutes. So... That's fucking badass. Anyways, this one ran just a little bit long, so I'm going to wrap it up fast. Thank you guys for watching. I really enjoyed this one. I cannot tell you enough. Full measure of a man. Vespers. Top two. Top two fucking cents. All right. Thank you for all the support. I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.